For this video, we're going to be doing a breakdown on number five running back and linebacker Anthony LaFaro, class of 2024 from Austin High School, highlighted on the screen. Before we dive further into the video, if you could please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this kind of content and for future videos, and if you're considering about helping the group even further, consider joining our Patreon for special benefits or using the donation links in the description of this video. Now diving back to the breakdown, Listen, speaking about Anthony, this young man, 5'9", about 170 pounds, not a very big guy, but he's a compact runner who shows some shiftiness. He has that low center of gravity that he runs with, and what I really like is he knows how to get skinny through the hole at that first level. He knows how to avoid contact at that first level, and I've seen some pop in his running. He has some of that speed that he can break away once he hits that second level of the defense. And I know a lot of questions are going to be, can he run through contact given he's not a very big guy? But he shows some strength to him, and he's able to run through some of that contact, avoid some of that contact at the first level. Now, things he could definitely work on, durability. I think he got banged up last year. He didn't see a higher volume of carries that you'd hope to see, and that's something I think he can continue going forward. And obviously, being more involved in things like the passing game is something that I'm interested in seeing. But let's go over a couple plays I did like. I mentioned he's located right there, and we're going to see some of that burst. I mean, this is practically an iso play, getting a body on a body, using these kind of H-backs or full backs to uh, block the linebacker. And you can see, really well blocked and sealed off um, by the offensive line and these running backs right here. And you're going to see some of that pop, some of that burst that I'm talking about when he gets to that second level. All right, boom. Look at him turn that corner. He pretty much breaks the angles of those DBs. And that's that burst that he can create some chunk plays out of, right? Not a very big guy, but again, I like some of the mix of him being shifty and showing some of that burst right here. Again, just smooth, right? Turns the corner, right? Does the ladder, breaks to the outside towards the sideline, and you see that burst to create a big chunk touchdown right there. Let's go to another play. Again, his ability to be shifty, to squeeze through tight holes, is something that I like. He knows how to hide behind linemen. And again, you're going to see, I think this is kind of a mess up right here. They're going to reverse pivot and hand it to him. But see the running backs going in two different directions. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be another ISO lead type of play. But his ability to hide behind linemen, to be shifted. I mean, you can see his scrum right here. But you can't see him, right? He runs with that low center of gravity. And he gets to that second level. You see the burst, right? Look at him just explode. He runs through contact. And that burst, that explosion at that second level to create this long touchdown again. But I like the lean, right? Watch at the snap of the ball. Look at the lean he has going forward, right? Shifty, he runs through that contact right there in the hole, and there's that burst into the second level for a touchdown. You're going to see, again, this is an even better angle. There he is highlighted right there. You're going to see another motion lead right here. You're going to see these line body on a body. You're going to get this guy up to the backer. And let's watch him work. Again, this time the whole close is pretty close. You can see this defensive lineman coming off this block, another guy coming right here. But again, his ability to run through contact, which again, he's not a very big guy. People are going to worry about that. But he should look at him fight through and squeeze through that hole and then at the second level making a guy miss. This play should have been a no gain or a loss. Ends up being, I believe, a first down right there. Yep, close to a first down. So this is what I like. This is the running backs. Making that first guy miss. I talk about it in multiple videos. The ability to make that first guy miss. There's a defender right there in the hole. Running through that contact. Running through that contact as well at the second level. Making something that should have been a loss into a nice game. Let's talk about the final play. Here he is again highlighted. Going to get motion. And ISO play, this is actually going to be kind of a trap. So they're going to motion him. He's going to trap one of these linemen coming up. This running back getting up to the second level. And again, running downhill. But you see that linebacker right there. And let's rewind it. This backside linebacker is going to be meeting him in the hole right here. Actually, play side, excuse me. Right in the hole. Right? So you got to show the ability, strength to move through contact. Look at him fight through the contact right there. Churning those legs again, this could have been no gainer right here. Linebacker comes clean. Right, you see two guys bang into the trap right here. So this linebacker now doesn't have anyone to block him. He's going to meet the running back in the hole. But the ability, again, to make the defender miss. With he's being a compact, low center gravity. Look at him fighting forward for a nice game when it should have been a no gain or even a loss here. That's what I like about him. 
Now, obviously, I'd love to see even more volume of carries. How big of a growth he's going to have going into next year. But I like what I saw on the reps um, on tape from him, and I'm excited to see how how the volume increases and how he produces this upcoming season.